हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर राहुल कुलकर्णी एंड आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग एज अ कंसल्टेंट मेडिकल ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट इन पुणे सो फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंडिविजुअल इम्पॉर्टेंट कैंसर्स सम बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैम एंड अ स्मॉल ओवर व्यू अबाउट हाउ दे शुड बी ट्रीटेड एंड टू बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट मेलेग्नेंसी विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज लिम्फोमास ना वाई लिम्फोमास नॉट ओनली बिकॉज इट इज़ वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट टॉपिक्स बट ऑल्सो इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मेलेग्नेंसीज विच इज़ हाईली क्यूरेबल but at the same time it needs to be diagnosed at a very prompt stage and also needs to be treated in a very unique and specific manner so let us begin with understanding what we exactly mean by lymphoma now our human body is made up of small swellings which are called as lymph nodes and these lymph nodes are connected with a network of lymphatics now generally these lymph nodes serve as a first point of defense against any infection which enters in our body and these lymph nodes are composed of small cells which are called as lymphocytes now whenever there is any abnormal growth of these lymphocytes this leads to the swelling of these lymph nodes and this resultant condition is called as lymphoma so generally whenever the term lymphoma is told to the patients they generally take it synonymous with the term called blood cancer and then they start thinking negatively about whether they will survive or not or how they will be treated and all the other negative aspects but hold on though lymphoma is a form of hematolymphoid malignancy only because it arises from the cell that is lymphocyte which are present in the blood but the entire spectrum of the disease the prognosis and the treatment of this lymphomas is completely different than the exactly what we uh, routinely called as liquid blood cancers also not all swellings of the lymph node are because of lymphomas it can be because of infections it can be because of tuberculosis which is very very common in our country or it can sometimes be because of some other cancers which are spread to the lymph nodes so let us now see what can be the presenting features of lymphoma as we know that lymphoma can be seen both in young as well as old age patients the most common feature of lymphomas is generally the lymph node swellings that is the swellings which can be seen at any place but most commonly it is seen in the neck in the armpits in the groin or in the abdomen also there can be some other features like persistent fever unexplained weight loss loss of appetite drenching sweats or abdominal fullness or abdominal swelling or sometimes swelling over the legs again all these features can be seen in a disease called tuberculosis which is very very common in our country so it is very important that such kind of symptoms should never be neglected and you should always approach your doctor to get yourself tested and to have a proper diagnosis so let us understand how we generally proceed when we get such kind of patients so first and foremost we do simple blood investigations which includes cbc that is complete blood count uric acid ldh esr so these simple blood investigations help us to understand what is going on in the patient but the most important and confirmatory test which excludes or confirms the diagnosis of lymphoma is a excisional biopsy that is removing the lymph node out of the patient's body and examining it under the microscope remember friends that fnse or a simple needle examination is very simple but many times it can mislead or it can misguide towards the diagnosis of tuberculosis or any other investigation or it can even miss the lymphoma and we can waste the precious time in the diagnosis and treatment of lymphomas remember in lymphomas earlier we diagnose more are the chances of cure as well as long term survival so excisional biopsy is the gold standard for the diagnosis of lymphomas now once the diagnosis of lymphoma is confirmed we need to know what type of lymphoma it is and that can be done by a chemical test which we call it as immunohistochemistry so broadly we classify lymphomas into two types one is a hodgkins lymphoma and the second type is a non hodgkins lymphoma non hodgkins lymphoma again is subclassified into various other types based on the immunohistochemistry and why it is very important is because the treatment of each type of lymphoma the prognosis and the outcome is different so we need to type the lymphoma and treat the patient accordingly now once the diagnosis and type of lymphoma is confirmed the next step is to stage the lymphoma now for staging we advise a pet ct scan which is a advanced form of ct scan and by this we can know at what all sides the lymph nodes are enlarged sometimes we can also advise a bone marrow examination or a cerebral spinal fluid examination and combiningly that pet ct scan bone marrow csf testing we stage the patient into either stage 1 to stage 4 so lastly coming to the treatment of lymphomas as i have said that the treatment of lymphomas depend upon the type of lymphomas so for hodgkins lymphoma generally the treatment is simple and straight forward we generally use a four drug combination chemotherapy regimen which is called as abvd regimen 
and it is given every 15 days. Based upon the stage of the patient, anywhere between 6 to 12 cycles of chemotherapy are required. Plus or minus sometimes we need radiation depending upon the site involved or depending upon the size of the initial tumor burden. Also we repeat the PET CT scan after 4 cycles and that is important because in patients where the PET scan becomes negative after 4 cycles, the chances of long term survival is almost greater than 90 to 95 percent. In the other type that is the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, again as I said that the treatment depends upon the subtypes. But the most common subtype of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that is a CD20 positive B-cell lymphoma. We have a drug or targeted drug which is called as rituximab which selectively targets this lymphoma cells. So when we incorporate this rituximab in the uh, routine chemotherapy regimen, the response rates are almost doubled and the chances of cure are also almost doubled. So now this drug is also affordable so that a wide population can have access to such kind of targeted therapies. So generally we give rituximab based chemotherapies what we call as R-CHOP regimen and if given properly or if the targeted therapy and chemotherapy is given properly under proper guidance, the chances of cure rates are almost 90 to 95% in stage 1, around 80% in stage 2, 60 to 70% in stage 3 and about 40 to 50% even in stage 4 lymphomas. So even in advanced stages, lymphoma is highly curable if it is treated properly. Also nowadays we have various high intensity regimens or even low intensity regimens for various other different subtypes of lymphomas. And also sometimes we need to use a stem cell or autologous bone marrow transplant for treating some kind of lymphomas. So at the end I would like to emphasize few points in the treatment of lymphoma. Correct diagnosis is very important. Early diagnosis is also equally important because earlier you diagnose lymphomas more are the chances of cure. And lastly, prompt treatment under the proper guidance and incorporation of targeted therapy can help you to maximize the chances of cure. Thank you very much.